Welcome to Mike Brown Barbecue. Today we're gonna smoke red snapper on this 250 gallon offset smoker. All right, folks, Stay it's tuned. time to get us a fire going for today's cook. What I got right here is a little bit of cheap charcoal to help get things going. And then I've taken my wood, split it up into smaller splits, to burn the coal bed down since I used just a little bit of charcoal. And we'll just go on right on in here with it. When I got a piece of wood that's too long like this, and it sits like that, just turn it sideways a little bit so it'll sit on there. And I got a big piece of bark that fell off that log while I was cutting it. We'll just set that right up there on top. We'll give that a minute to catch up, but that is going to be the base for our coal bed for this cook. That's just a bunch of red oak split up into smaller pieces. It'll burn down rather quick, and we can get on with our cook. Next time you guys see me is when we put our fish on. Stay tuned. All right, folks. What I got here is a piece of fresh gold red snapper that a buddy of mine caught. We're not going to have to do too much trimming on this. But it does have a real thin edge right here. So we're going to go ahead and cut that off about right there. It still has scales on it. It is on the half shell. So we'll get that cut off right there. This is on the half shell, so it does have scales on this side right here. So we're not worried about nothing on that side. What I'm going to season this with today is some of the best blackening season, in my humble opinion. Chef Paul Perdoon, Black and Redfish Magic. There's actually two versions of this, just a seafood black in the season and a redfish one, but this redfish one is amazing. So with that being said, we'll go ahead, set this down on a piece of tin foil, because that's how it's gonna go down on the grill. I'm gonna leave it on a piece of tin foil to keep it from sticking to my grates, and things of that nature. We'll come in here with the uh, redfish magic and put a generous coat on. Yes, I don't know exactly what all is in here, but man, I'm telling you, this stuff right here is amazing. Pat everything in real nice. And what I'm going to do with this is kind of build a little bit of a full boat around it. Or you could use a full pan, but I happen to not have one of them. And just what this will do is make it easier for you to move the fish around and get it cooked. It won't fall apart on you. When you go to cooking fish, 145 internal temp is where you want to be. This is a pretty even fillet right here, except for just a little bit of thin spot right there. So it'll cook very evenly. But there you have it, folks. Next time you guys see this, will be when I put it on the pit. Stay tuned. All right, it's time to put our red snapper on. And that's what we're looking like after it's set up for about 30 minutes and that seasoning kind of soaked in there. That's what you want. I'm going to put this red snapper directly right here, kind of in the middle, because I got more heat right here and not as much heat right here in the middle because the way the smoker works. We'll smoke this snapper with a red oak for about 250, 275 for about 30 minutes. We'll check it for an internal temp. Once we hit the internal temp about 125, we'll start basting on some garlic herb butter and finish it out that way. When I hit about 135, I'm gonna crank up my heat and let the fire get a little wild and try to crisp up some of the crust on the outside. 
that's the whole game plan with this cook. So our coal bed is just about burnt down. Let's go ahead and throw our red oak on. Stay tuned. All right, folks. As you can see, the coal bed has burnt completely down. We're going to go ahead and smash it a little bit, not much. We've got a decent enough coal bed to get started. I'm going to move this up toward the front. I don't want to put no excessive heat on the fish. So I'm going to go on one piece of red oak right there. One piece of red oak right here. And I'm going to put one piece of red oak just like that. Three pieces of wood is plenty enough for this fire. Like I said, I don't want to get too hot right off Jump Street. I want to burn just enough to keep about 250, 225 on our snapper. Bring the fish up real slow because it's a delicate piece of meat or fish. If you cook it too fast, it'll curl up and dry out. So you want to take it slow with that, from my experience with grilling redfish and stuff like that. But that is taken off. I'm going to go ahead, close my door down. It's about a half an inch open and let it do its thing. We're going to get us some real good smoke. I'll show you what the smoke is coming out of the stack right now. It's daylight, so I don't know how good you can see that. But that's a real one of them blue thin smokes that uh, like Aaron Franklin always talks about. That's what you want for your fish. Fish will soak up smoke like nobody's business. You have to burn you a real clean fire for that fish or you will over smoke it just like chicken. So. We got our red snapper on. Stay tuned. All right, bringing y'all in for just a little temperature update. And this is the beauty about knowing your smoker right here. I knew three pieces of wood would get me right in the 250 range. It took it about 10 minutes to jump up to this range. It is slightly rising, but that's to be expected. Once it burns a little bit longer, it'll actually drop down in that 250 range. We see we got even temps and a low and slow fire. That's what you want when you're doing this redfish. You want a lower temp. You don't want it too hot. You want nice clean smoke. If you hit that with a ton of dirty smoke, then your fish is going to smell like dirty smoke. It's not like brisket, thick pieces of meat, thick cuts. You got to be careful with it. Anyway, I just wanted to bring y'all guys in for that. Here in about 30 minutes, we'll open it up and see what she's looking like. Stay tuned. All right, folks, the time has come to check our redfish. It's been about 30 minutes since we put it on. We're going to check it for internal temp in the thickest part, which is about right here. We're right on schedule, 125 right there in the thickest part. So what we're going to do next, something I've been kind of pondering on how I was going to do it. What we're going to do next is take this garlic and herb butter from Lando Lakes. I pondered on making my own, but I'm not that fancy, and I'm here to tell you right now. If I were to buy all the ingredients to make this stuff right here, I'd spend $20, $30 at the store. You can get this for 4 bucks. It's a little tub of it, and it works very good. But that is what we're going to base. That is what we're going to base the snapper with today. So we'll come over here, and brush it on, put us a nice little coat on there. Probably just be better to pour it on. it on and then we'll brush it like so 
and this will be the only time that we baste it. That butter will melt off and it will start to make us a nice crust. We'll let this ride out for about another 15-20 minutes and we'll come back and check it. If we're good on the fire right now, I don't think we're even going to have to manage it again. But if we do, I'll bring you guys back for that. Stay tuned. Alright folks, for the last 15 minutes of the snapper cook, I want to get my fire a little wild. So I'm going to go up in here. And one thing to note right here is when you got a log right here that burns up quicker than this log over here, that one right there was just really, really dry. And I knew that putting on, but my firewood is drying out on me. I got to get some more wood. I've had it for a while, so I just deal with it. But anyway, I'm going to stick this sucker right in here. I'm going to leave my firebox door open. about three inches and I want that fire to get wild and kind of crisp the outside of that snapper and really dry off the moisture and that butter off the top of it to finish this cook out. So we've got roughly about 10-15 minutes left before we check on this snapper again. I'll bring you guys in for that. Stay All tuned right, folks. So 15 minutes in we're fixing to check this but this is my heat right now. It's up to about 300, been floating around 300, 325. That's what we want to finish out this snapper. So let's get it checked. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Let me get y'all in for a close up. And that's what it's looking like. All the butter's melted. It's got a little bit of crisp on the edges. That's what we wanted. We're sitting at 146, which is perfect. So that's done, folks. I'm going to go ahead and get this pulled, and then I'll bring you guys back, and we'll try it out and see how we did. Stay tuned. All right, folks. So here is the finished product. That is looking real nice. Nice red color. The edges crisp up on it. The garlic butter did its job. Everything looks awesome. This is exactly what I wanted. It's on the half shell. Only one thing left to do now guys is to try it out. Alright guys, here's the moment of truth. Let's see how we did on this red fish right here. That's what it's looking like. It's nice and flaky. That's what you want. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm-hmm. That's good. I apologize for the cackling in the background. I've got a banny rooster raising hell. Man, that is awesome. Flaking right apart. That's what you want. I don't get no better than that. That is so good cooked perfectly. It's not overcooked. It's not undercooked. That's exactly how you want to do your fish. 145 is the sweet spot. This got up to 146, 147 after a little carryover. But it, it, it's awesome. It's perfect. I want to try one of these thinner pieces down here. I want to try one of these little pieces on the end that got a little crisp on the edge. Mm. I'm telling you, the Shepherd Dooms black in the seasoning, to me, is the best black in the seasoning there is. Nothing touches it. I've tried all of them. That is the best. This is some dead gum good eating. Then you got that butter down in the bottom of the foal. You swash it around in that butter in the bottom of the foal boat. You want this next level good. Mmm. So good. Alright, so I can't sit here and eat all this. My my wife is going to be mad if I eat it all by myself. This is me and her brunch for today. So, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll give y'all a little recap of the whole cook right quick. We burnt a little small coal bed down using red oak. Put it on the smoker. Ran the smoker for about 250, a little bit more, a little bit less, for almost 35. 
minutes, checked the internal temp, we were at 130. We then added a few more splits to our fire and cranked up the heat to about 325 for 15 minutes and finished out the cook. All in all, right around an hour to cook this piece of fish right here and it came out absolutely perfect. Couldn't ask for any better. So, thank y'all for watching. Peace out.